Hi everyone. Today we're going to take a look at some circular motion problem solving. So imagine you have a set of keys on a lanyard with a mass of 0.02 kilograms and you spin around here so that the lanyard uh, is taut. You have this straight line between you and the end of the keys here. Um, and that length is about 0.3 meters. So this would be the radius of the circle, you at the center of the circle. Um, and this, this speed should say 3 meters per second. So let's, let's fix that really quick. This should be 3 meters per second. And we know the mass of the keys and we want to find the tension in the string. So the mass of this key system, again, just kind of taking this out of the written description, the speed is 3 meters per second and the radius is 0.3 meters. And what are we trying to find here? We're trying to find the tension um, in the string. So first step, the expert problem solving strategy is choose a system and draw a force diagram for that system. So we're interested in this set of keys. When I go to draw a force diagram for the keys, I know that I'll have a weight force for the, the keys. So mg would be 0.02 times negative 10 meters per second squared. And the reason why I say negative 10 is because I, um, sorry about that, um, I've assigned the downward direction to be negative and the upward to be positive. And I'll make the right word X direction positive and left negative. All right, now what's touching the keys? Well, definitely the rope is touching the keys, and I know that the rope is going to pull on the keys, um, not push. So this tension force here, right? And tension is kind of weird because when we take a look at what's going on here, the rope exerts a tension force this way on the object. I'm going to call this tension in the X. And this is the weight force that we just represented. We know that these keys don't have any acceleration in the Y direction. So we need to ask ourselves, what is responsible for balancing the weight force? Well, tension is a little bit weird. When you think about this rope, it exerts a tension force this way in the X direction. And it also exerts a tension force in the Y direction. <clears throat> I'm going to call this tension in the Y. So our force diagram for the keys looks like this. All right, well, let's kind of analyze this force diagram here. I know that acceleration in the Y is 0 meters per second squared. And the reason why I know that is because, you know, we've done this before. Um, and we know that in terms of the y axis, there is zero acceleration and, and zero velocity for that matter. So this would be a zero net force in the y. In the x direction, net force in the x direction, the vector is to the left. This is the net force in the x direction for this problem. So the net force is just equal to the tension force in the x direction. And this is pointed towards this center of the circle. So if its speed is 3 meters per second, and this is a constant speed, so these keys have uniform circular motion, and we have this force towards the center of the circle, then this tension force is the centripetal force, the force responsible for helping, you know, these these keys keep on accelerating. Uh, they keep on changing direction and creating a circular path here. So I'm very interested in acceleration in the X, right? And so we don't know acceleration in the X. Um, now that we have this set up, We'd love to find what's missing over here, wouldn't we? Um, let's take a look at 
some of the things um, that we know. If we want to find acceleration so that we can eventually find F net, centripetal acceleration is equal to V squared over R. We do know the speed is 3 meters per second. So we can square this term. The radius is also known. It's 0 0.3 meters. So what ends up happening is this becomes 9. And the units here are meters per second multiplied by meters per second. So it's meters squared per second squared. All divided by 0 0.3 meters. So we're just doing 9 divided by 0 0.3. And you end up with 30. And let's check on these units again. If you have a meter squared term divided by a meter, the square is gone, this term is gone, and you are left with meters per second squared. And that makes sense because we're looking for acceleration over here. All right, so we've gotten the acceleration of the keys. Can this provide us with net force? Well, sure it can because to find net force by second law you need mass and acceleration. We have our mass. We have our acceleration. So we are good to go. So the net force in the x direction here 0 0.02 times 30 for 0.6 newtons. This net force that you found, this 0 0.6 newtons, when we go back to our force diagram, we're reminded that the tension force, right, in the rope in the horizontal direction here, the tension force in the horizontal direction is the net force. So in this case, our tension force, our tension force is Uh, our tension force is the net force, so this is equal to the tension force as well. I hope this gives you a good start here, some foundation for solving um, problem set one in terms of circular motion. And if you have any questions, let me know.